Zaragon here. Join me over on Library or CocoScope or Plowed Video France or BitChute to join me in a listening party and commentary session from yours truly on five songs from the 1980 debut album by The Pretenders. Uh, where I cover the bulk of side one that um, isn't known from the from MTV or radio, showing a very different side of the band, more edgy post-punk. Um, the video was blocked on YouTube. I filmed it last night. I had it uploaded by and all ready to go around 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, but I decided to hold off on publishing it um, until after I got up the next morning this morning because um in the event that it was blocked i i didn't necessarily want to be going to sleep on that dull note um and i haven't been blocked in in like two months um well i haven't been universally blocked anyway um my dutch rock video last week got blocked in the netherlands um and there have been some a uh, sprinklings of the blocked in Denmark issue or at least there were haven't seen any of those recently but um, uh, but yeah this one was blocked worldwide on YouTube um, WGM or something behind that yeah I, I don't know what the politics really are um, I don't think it's the band um, anyway um, yeah I've got it on uh, if you're if you uh, log into um, rateyourmusic.com and come over to my page like well here I am Zaragon it's I, I always have the link to uh, my uh, RYM profile on there and scroll right down to site guide uh, and go to English music from A to Z and hit the P so you hit P and then in a secondary tab um, you'll see a whole directory of English P albums and you can you know just highlight a red track red means recommended means red hot you see the emoticon right there the big big grinning face yeah and then you see the smiley face behind uh, purples I mean those are good if you want to further explore but um, yeah and then um, you um, oftentimes just um, highlighting the tr the title alone will bring up um, the song in a secondary tab unless <coughs> the video has been used uh, for other purposes in which case you might need to um, grab a bit more and search Google right click yeah and then then it brings up a whole bunch of things and uh, anyway um, and if you were logged in you can see the comment box and here I've got the message right here but I also have it in linked in the description, the four different links. Yeah, listening party and commentary on five songs from the 1980 debut album by The Pretenders. The tracks Precious, The Phone Call, Up the Neck, Space Invader, and The Wait on Library, which some say is the um, video platform which will ultimately rival YouTube. Um, oh, that's kind of somewhere in between. That's not the opening frame, huh? Must be picking where I where I left it off or something. And then Coco Scope, um, and um, something about Coco Scope. Um, I don't upload on here very often, but I've made it my place for videos that got blocked on uh, YouTube. More on that in a second. Um, Let's see, uh, Plowed Video France, which I have all of my uh, musical commentary videos on. Um, like, but um, I don't expect any traffic on here. This is just a, a place where I back up. I, I don't think, it, Plowed Video France is one of the peer tube, one of the many peer tube networks. And I really just use this as um, like a, a backup for, um, my as you as you can see here here yeah and um some of these are kind of an av order because i i did this like late last year i back to my and then um last but not least a bit shoot well maybe least because i was having problems with their uploads or a bit shoot 
um, which I kind of abandoned. I was, yeah, I. It seems like all my attempts at uploading this were were caught in um, processing purgatory, and then suddenly after eight hours or so of trying different uploads, suddenly they all processed immediately, and and I can't find a delete button on here, but. Um, I'm not sure if BitChute is really going to make it as a, as a competitor to YouTube. They, um, and I had my BitChute account synchronized to YouTube, but it stopped synchronizing many months ago. Like, as a matter of fact, if you look on my, um, my page on there, oh, yikes, <laughs> three uploads the same. Um, yeah, um, the, the last video that got blocked um, a couple of months ago, Led Zeppelin, The Wanton Song, and then before that, Sebastian Hardy, Exit 9, stuff from like May, before the whole two-month MRI over the summer, and um, rather inconsistent in, um, this is not even a complete, like, oh, you do have the Jethro Tull video that got blocked, okay, which brings me back to Coco, and the Ozzy Osbourne that got blocked. Yeah, Jethro Tull, uh, for Michael Collins, Jeffrey and me and Saw City, You're a Woman, which got blocked in North America, and Ozzy Osbourne, I don't know, which was blocked worldwide on YouTube. Um, I have made Coco Scope um, the place exclusively at this point for videos that you can't find on YouTube. Um, take a look, uh, like, right here. Um, we, uh, let's... We got, um, yeah, Henry, here's, here's the latest one, Pretenders, 80, um, as well, and the recent Led Zepp, The One and Song, and as I mentioned, Jeff Rotal, and uh, going back like uh, 16 months now, 17 months, um, Henry Cow, Nirvana for Mice, Teen Beat, that got blocked in North America, and so I didn't even bother publishing it. Um, uh, it got blocked because of Team Beat, not because of Nirvana for Mice. So I could have posted it had I just scalloped it, but I just thought I'd um, And uh, Roberta Flack, uh, Conversation Love, and Suzanne. Yeah, um, it was rather frightening at the time. In June of um, 2019, I had this hat trick of blocks, like back to back. First, there was Aztec Camera, the video, which got blocked in Japan. Japan only. Um, and so I wasn't too concerned about that. Then there was Henry Cow, Nirvana for Mice, which got blocked in North America, and but could have been viewable in Europe had I decided to proceed. And then uh, right after that, Roberta Flack, which got blocked globally. And um, it was because of that that I started pausing songs a lot more frequently, like every 10 to 15 seconds, thinking, I have to do this or else YouTube is going to decide you played too much, you know, without interruption. Um, we're blocking this video. And um, yeah, I was doing that because I was, and, and I didn't like doing that. I, I thought pausing at the time i thought pausing every 30 to 45 seconds was was all right but um now of course i don't pause songs at all um because that was story uh, some people accepted you know accepted the pausing but the the more viewers i was starting to get the more complaints i was starting to get about that um oh and he, uh, to cover some some of the other things that are okay there there are a few things you can you that that are on my youtube channel it's like some of my earliest um, videos like um, like Pink Floyd, Fearless from like late 2018. Yeah, thank God it's not Christmas. These first four, and then the first video of mine that ever got blocked. Okay, Fleetwood Mac, Only Over You from like April, March, April of, of 2019. Yeah, um, a Christy McVie number uh, off Mirage got blocked. Um, oh, Generation X, Kiss Me Deadly. Uh, Egberto Gizmonti. Um, uh, Equilibrista, and this one, um, I noticed that there was a trend in, like, um, European and Brazilian jazz would sometimes get blocked, um, like, um, 
Let's see, Enrico Rava Water Kite got blocked. Some of the stuff on BASF, I think. Um, that label. Um, and uh, let's see, he did, this one shocked me. The Greatest Show on Earth. Two cuts from their first album. A Real Cool World and Angelina. A brass rock band similar to Galliard or uh, Brainchild. Yeah, UK brass rockers. Um, that was blocked in North America for reasons unknown. Very obscure band. and I, I could have given it some of its biggest exposure on YouTube. Um, oh, and a couple more that are on YouTube, actually. Um, the, uh, let's see, 10 CC, Shock on the Tube, and Kayak, Crime of Passion, The Poet and the One Man Band. For a brief period, I uploaded those here because that was during a brief period where I thought I would back my entire channel up on Kokum Scope. But then it seemed kind of buggy, um, and the uploads were inconsistent, so I thought, nah, I'm only going to uh, resort to Cocoa Scope when, when there's an emergency. Oh, yeah, and did I talk mention John Abercrombie? After, after several months of having no blocks last year, after I started pausing a lot, John Abercrombie, a video I did of his, got blocked from his 1984 album, but that, I guess it's because it's on ECM and... and, and a real stingy label for that. And as a matter of fact, I think the only reason my Eberhard Weber, uh, the Colors of Chloe video is up is because I paused the track so many times um, that, and that the piece is so loose and kind of atmospheric and there isn't much of a re resolving melody to it that, that um, 10 seconds of continuous play or 15 seconds wasn't enough for their sniffing software to identify the track and block it. Um, I never knew that that video would get so many views that it would, um, although it has a, a pretty low retention. Um, uh, I am looking forward to a time in the near future, hopefully, when um, that particular video doesn't keep on showing up in my ongoing month by month top 10 most viewed in the month you know like all like over a year after I, I published it yeah I really looking to get more of that attention up up to date onto newer uploads um, and um, as I speak right here I am about 30 subscribers away from hitting a certain threshold that could really put this channel in front of a lot more people. Um, we're talking hundreds upon hundreds of more, and I think that's kind of how YouTube works. You, you hit a certain threshold, and then you become more of a priority to them, and they start putting you more in, into the recommendments. Um, and so if you want to see me, um, exp if you want to see this kind of music gain exposed to a wider audience, you know, everything from, uh, like, like music, all, a full range of music from the 70s and the first half of the 80s, um, yeah, from around the world, um, yeah, and from someone who's been listening to, who's rated more than 17,000 albums, who has, um, with an average of about, um, 1,200 per year, particularly in the 1970s, like, look at this. Here's my 1976 directory with a big blurb on the year going nation by nation by nation. Um, and it is like 18 pages long. 17,043 titles that I have worked through. It took me years to do this. It took me years of a lot of close listening. Yes, I listened to every single one of these albums closely um, a minimum of four times. And um, I... Um, then proceeded to uh, load them into, load the rubies into multi-artists, into, uh, you know, compilation mix playlists and stuff that um, I hear recurrently from time to time. And um, yeah, see, yeah, I, I was working this to the bone over, and, and then 1976 is my biggest year, but that's just one year of those. 1977 is also a really big year. And so I, I, I was basically, like a 10-year music monk. Um, I just, I, I, um, some people, 
want to climb the highest mountains or swim the deepest seas. Some people, you know, want to, um, you know, jump, want to skydive from the highest altitude. Some people want to tightrope walk. I wanted to take on the full load of 70s musical creativity from around the 70s, early 80s. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, so when it comes to uh, album by album uh, and front to back of this time period, um, I don't know if there's anyone quite at my who can who can really compete with me in that. I I, I think I'm, I'm uh, and anyway. So if you want to if if you want to see this knowledge being brought to a wider audience, yeah, um, get this channel in front of your friends because um, and remember, it's not about me. It's about the music. It's about the knowledge. It's about sharing. It's about um, exposing things and and helping people find. A listening uh, e e e starting point if the music's unfamiliar to them it's it's elucidating what makes these um, you know of, 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 of helping people f develop ways to um, if they're not familiar with the music because um I I, I once had this this jazz teacher who, who told me that um, because because some of the the, the uh, students in the class were just being really apoplectic and, and, and just dismissive of, of everything just right away. And he, and he told me in private, he said, I, th I almost think that before people take music, um, before people take these, these, these musical courses, there should be a, prerequ a prerequisite course on how to listen to music. Um, and so, yeah, when people have, are, are being exposed the first time for things they're not too familiar with, you got to point out what things to zero in on and and um anyway and and you also just need to bring uh things bring songs that they would otherwise miss bands that they would otherwise miss or songs they would overlook if if they're only just getting their exposure through radio or through compilations um because yeah i um one of the, one of the reasons i i did this is because now i always uh, access these directories whenever i'm writing a bio on a band, um, I know what which songs to highlight or to talk about, and which songs that I'm gonna like delve deeper into. I use it for this program, like like uh, okay, it's time I I cover this band, um, which um, you know, and then I, I know which songs to pull up and um, prioritize, you know, because I I did my footwork and and um, what. I go back and I, I play through these lists. Sometimes I, I do load up the entire album. I, f I find it about 95% of the time. I, I agree with my initial assessment. Um, and uh, yeah, I and I do cherish a time, hopefully in the near future, when YouTube will stop blocking videos altogether. No more censorship. No, you know. Um, and that everyone can come back to, to YouTube and, and just have everything on there. And, and uh, heck, I, I hope it gets back to like the period of peak functionality, like 2012 to 2016 or so. Um, um, when it wasn't so top heavy, when they weren't just over prioritizing stuff that already has thousands of views and just putting that in the recommended feeds over and over and over again. Um, and, uh, um, if, and I don't care about, um, how, um, like videos cannot be monetized because they use copyright content. I'm perfectly all right with any, um, revenue generated through these kinds of videos goes straight to the copyright holders and such. Um, and what people like me do is just get it out there more and expose it. Um, although, ideally, perhaps at some point in the future, when, once they, they um, update these laws to reflect um, today's mediums, you know, the internet and streaming, that um, there could be like a system where um, you get like a small percentage for referring, just like uh, you, like they have in place for Amazon 
you know that that you refer you ultimately referred a sale you and so you get like you know a few cents off the dollar um, anyway but uh, in the meantime we have these other places and I um, library stopped backing up my channel um, about two months ago I don't know what is up with that um, and um, <laughs> that 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 is quite a place to be freezing <laughs> the video um, I actually almost used that as as the still frame um, yeah see um, it's got the pretenders it's got Led Zeppelin from like two months ago but it doesn't have anything in between so they stopped synchronizing my YouTube channel for some reason and I've contacted them because I had high hopes for this for a while I um, last February or so I did a whole mass bulk transfer of my entire YouTube history, uh, about 900 videos up, up to that point and um, I looked through it. it it took about 10 days to complete but when I looked through it all I noticed about 80 videos were missing and I didn't see any uh, option for combing over for missed videos or it seemed like it would just be a pain in the butt uh, going through individually noting which ones weren't on here and then uh, accounting for those um, yeah suddenly this kind of looks like an outdated feed it's like the old um, thumbnail format. By the way, I never quite understood what it was about the old thumbnail format that just wasn't quite as fetching to a lot of people browsing. That that, that it didn't make quite the impression. Like um, that, that then I uh, one of the things I did was I started studying um, thumbnails more. Started looking at and, and noticed that uh, no, they actually want to see the physical you in the thumbnail. They want it less cluttered. They want it. And they want like kind of like a facial expression and that they want um, the letters, the words in the thumbnail to differ from the words in the title. Yeah, I, I, I took note of that. Um, but um, the old the old mascot, the old the, the old avatar and, and just the album cover and band image format. Uh, I uh, don't know, no, just didn't quite uh, draw as many clicks at the time. Um, but uh, I um, also realized that you have to kind of slow down your uploads because um, if each time you post a new video, you're somewhat kneecapping the momentum of the prior video. Um, because it's it's no since it's no longer the latest video that you posted, it's no longer the top priority. Um, anyway, um, unless you get up into like the six-digit subscriber count, and uh, then even then you can afford, I guess, to post three or four videos a day because um, um, even even a a, 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 a relatively little watch video by your standards is still going to be um, pushing the five digit mark in views yeah anyway um, and uh, I hopefully I can do something about this I, 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 I emailed library with the questions and I'm waiting on their answer like um, can um, is, is there, yeah, why did they stop synchronizing? I couldn't find answers to these questions anywhere on the internet. Why did they stop synchronizing my channel? Is there a way that I can um, uh, just put a link in and have it transfer automatically or have it pull the video over from YouTube um, without having to physically upload each video that's missing? And is there a way that library could possibly comb over my channel for videos that haven't already been transferred over? Um, because I am not necessarily keen on uh, having to individually upload every single missing video from the last two months. 
things. But I, because I was really looking forward to this. I don't know. Um, so still waiting for something as resourceful as YouTube, yet censorship free, content suppression free, um, and because if, if it has all those qualities, uh, eventually um, more people will start coming over. Um, yeah, I think a uh, library so far, I think, has a very big um, gamer and Bitcoin or cryptocurrency type crowd on it. Um, CocoScope, I'm not sure. I've heard very little about CocoScope. I, I heard about it by chance one afternoon. Um, and BitChute um, seems to attract a lot of political refugees from YouTube, people who've been deplatformed. Um, uh, PeerTube is just a bunch of random junk that people back up. Um, yeah, so, so, so far, um, uh, Plowed Video France is the most complete um, backup of my channel. As a matter of fact, it's more complete because I, I've got all the, the videos that, that, that were blocked on YouTube on here as well. Although um, no one frequents Plowed Video France um, as of now. And um, it's, uh, its player is a little bit slow. It takes, takes a little time to catch on. Um, but anyway, and here's, um, yeah, whenever, just scroll through these. Um, and this is how you use the um, the directory of albums from the British Isles, as I like to call it. England, A to Z, as well as the other Isles in the whole cluster. Anyway, yeah, see it. Uh, the video that would have gone up um, early Wednesday morning, The Pretenders, five songs from side one of their 1980 debut album. Precious, The Phone Call, Up the Neck, Space Invader, The Weight, some really edgy post-punk experimentalism in those tracks. Um, very different from some of the lighter fare that they uh, tended to um, put out as singles. Well, um, the only indicator really is um, Tattooed Love Boys, um, which you might have heard if you didn't buy the album, but... Um, Side 2 tends to be a little bit uh, lighter, more West Coast influenced, but wow. Um, so basically, I've talked about a bunch of things. I talked about the video. I talked about the backup channels. Um, I kind of ranted a little bit about the state of blocking. Oh, an another thing about Fleetwood Mac, the issue. Um, there's been this suggestion out there that, that Lindsey Buckingham is a blocker, but um, Stevie Nicks isn't. Um, people who seem to be a little bit more knowledgeable than, than that, though, than that, um, seem to say that, no, these musicians don't, aren't individually going out there and, um, well, with the exception, perhaps, of Don Henley, aren't going out there and, um, blocking their catalogs. It's, it's a label thing. Um, because, uh, well, um, if it was just... I haven't heard about Chrissy McVie and her attitude, but uh, my Fleetwood Mac song that got blocked is a McVie track, not a not a not a Buckingham track. As a matter of fact, um, I'm almost um, tempted to put that theory to the test, and well, um, I think yeah, I could do something off off Go Insane, which I would love to do. I love that album. Um, although 1984 is not in the wheelbarrow right now um, for this channel although with, within a few months uh, 1981 will be because it will be 40 years since 1981 so I might do something off Law and Order just to test YouTube and see yeah because I, I don't think uh, the label would be nearly as protective I think it may it it might just be the prime some of the prime um, like Buckingham Nick's era Fleetwood Mac stuff that's being kind of guarded by the label. Um, as a matter of fact, the, the, the Lindsay issue came up because um, Dreams wasn't even uploaded um, to 
YouTube. It it went viral on TikTok over something. So, yeah. Anyway, and uh, but I of course was trying to give a bit more exposure to a much lesser heard track, a track that no one would have heard unless they owned a copy of Mirage. Yeah, a beautiful harmony ballad by Christy McVie. You can go watch that on Coco Scope. You can go hear Gen, Gen X's um, epic AOR um, punk opus, Kiss Me Deadly, The Greatest Show on Earth, Egberto Gizmonti, Enrico Raba, John Abercrombie, Roberta Flack, Henry Cow, Jethro Tall, and of course Zeppelin and the Pretenders. Anyway, done ranting. Um, looking forward to the milestone and the changes that it will bring. And um, more of these sorts of videos when I get an actual microphone set up here until the next video and I think the next uh, video I'm going to do probably going to film it in a few hours is going to be something a little bit off the beaten path for me if you would call it a beaten path I'm, I'm going to um, oh you'll see when I get there yeah and I don't think it could possibly be blocked it is way too obscure to be blocked way 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 too obscure Anyway, this is Aragon, the world's most ear trouble trimaximist, signing off.